how to change your life effectively let's say I have had and tried so many habits since I'm into personal development like three years and so personal development has taken more and more space in my life so that now I I live to grow I don't live for any other purpose than growing and having fun obviously it's fun for me to grow so that's how I have fun and um, I've noticed that um, I kind of always thought that certain habits and certain practices have power in and of themselves and so what I want to say is there is nothing outside of you that has power everything that has power is become because you give power to it and so uh, if you think that a certain habit a certain practice a certain program or uh, a certain person is going to save you and change completely change your life um, then it's like th that's not true it's uh, probably not going to happen because the reason is you're the only person that really can change your life and um, if some of these things that I mentioned work and help you to change your life it is only because um, they helped you in a way to activate your power, your inner power. We create like this world around us with our thoughts and emotions. It's like uh, we are conscious of it. We're, it's not like this is exterior to us. And so whatever happens, you make it happen. Whatever shit happens in your life, you're making it happen. Whatever good thing is happening in your life, you're making it happen. And so if you want to change your life in terms of like also by changing your daily life and trying to choose like the practices and the habits that will really change your life, I think the, the important thing to know is that they don't hold the power. You hold the power and you're just going to try to find the perfect way for you to activate this power that you have inside. And meditation is one way meditation is not like a thing that's that has power outside of you it's something that you do it's just that you don't before you start meditating you don't know you don't know that it's a thing and that it's so powerful but meditation is nothing physical it's just a concept it's something that you do with your body and so it's just you doing something the power lies within you and so what I my advice would be to try to find uh, the things that will change your life you know and I'm talking about um, about the goals that you set about the type of books that you read the type of people that you listen to and everything that you do during your day like how you frame life the mental um, how do you say mental mental like model that you have about life the habits um, you are going to make them work it's gonna be you so try to choose stuff in terms of how they make you feel and how you like them because so many times I've had habits and I thought oh this habit is so powerful I don't like it but it's probably gonna change my life so I'm just going going to do it and then nothing changes and I'm like yeah sure because it's not just about like trying to have acid and doing it I have to like it to like the process to put the intention and to mm, so to put the intention set out the intention that it's going to work and to help me I truly have to believe to know that this habit is going to help me and I have to focus on it and when I'm doing it be completely in it and then something changes my life but if I'm just thinking, whoa, this program is just like, I don't like that, but I'm just going to do it because it's just going to save me and change my life like this, you know, then most of the time it doesn't work. So I think there are uh, probably habits that are more powerful than others, but um, ultimately it's about you. It's about, it's about the power you allow yourself to give to that certain thing. And... Um, how do you give power to a thing? You give power to a thing when 
you when you know it's gonna work like you truly commit and you also give trust and you also give like all your focus and energy to that thing and so you see that it's not the habit it's about what you give to the habit it's about like the focus you put in the commitment like all that stuff that's exterior to the habit it's like meditating in the morning if you meditate in the morning you don't like it you half ass it and you think it's gonna change your life it's gonna do nothing for you so it's about i i love meditation because i really enjoy just like the process of meditating but I think that there are a lot of people who probably don't like meditating and uh, it's perfectly fine. And if you try to force them to meditate, it's not going to change their life. It's, it's not going to do anything for them unless they like realize that they like it. And then yes, maybe. But um, so if you want to change your life effectively, explore the different solutions that you could apply and be a little bit consistent, even if you don't like something, just to see if, like, maybe it's just because you're fucking lazy or something like that, you know? Um, sorry, you can, you can try things for a few weeks to see if they work, but if they don't, and especially if you don't like them, fucking drop them, fucking throw them out of your life, and then do something else, try something else. Maybe meditation is something that would completely change your life if you wanted to do it. But maybe it's not even the right time to do it for you. Maybe what you want to do right now is, uh, I don't know, is connect more with people and travel all the time and not meditate, for example, even if those are not contradictory, but it's just an example. And maybe lay, uh, further on your path, you're going to want to meditate. So try to find like the habits that you like, that feel good for you, right now that you need right now and i'm going through this it's not it's not that easy like you have to try many things and trust yourself and trust that you are going to make the change and if you want to make a change in, in your life you have to feel good and so i'm really in this process right now i haven't figured it out at all but i'm focusing more and more and more and more on what i actually like I listen more and more and more on uh, to people that I like, who's like a uh, model of life I really want to replicate. And I'm reading also more books about what I really like. Like, um, but sometimes I just listen to myself and I'm like, oh, I want to read a book about, uh, I don't know, space or space travel or science or whatever. And then I go for it, you know? So I really listen to myself. So if you want to change your life effectively, listen to yourself more and try to implement in your life what feels good for you and know that the power lies within you you're going to give power to certain things and that's how they're going to change your life they're just going to channel your power they're not gonna like do something for you you're gonna do something through them thanks for listening